It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Carolina Panthers and the Jacksonville Jaguars coming up next. Originally opened in 1995 as Jacksonville Municipal Stadium when this franchise entered the NFL. We welcome you to Jacksonville and TIAA Bank Field. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Brandon Gordon joined as always by Charles Davis. But Charles, a lot of optimism here in the Sunshine State about these Jaguars. They're the defending AFC South champs. They won a playoff game last year and gave the Chiefs all they could handle in the divisional round. And last season was seen as one where they were just going to try and rebuild and regroup. And they did all of those things and then exceeded expectations. Quietly, they've amassed a lot of talent and they expect to make another run in their division. Meanwhile, optimism reigning with the visiting Panthers. They've got a new coach, they've got a new quarterback, and they've got a real chance to be a playoff team in 2023. And a lot of it starts on the defensive side of the ball where they've been good for the last few seasons. If the offense joins them, they will be a tough out in the NFC South. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Now ETN to start the drive. They'll be dropped after a game of about six across the 30 to the 31. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. On second down, ETN once more. And ETN going to have a Jags first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. The problem is the defense isn't going to adjust, and they keep giving them those five, six, seven-yard runs over and over. They're likely to run it the whole way to the end zone. They'll be more than happy to take the yardage available and save some of their other plays in the playbook for another time. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Ten yards there, good enough for the Jags' first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He'll get this one complete to Zane Jones. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. This second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Here's ETN. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Now ETN, a pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Third and three. Now a handoff to Bigsby. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down. 24. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. 
But if you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Partner would go put time a clock running in their head, okay? Because it says something like this. I've got this many seconds to find a target. After that, I have to tuck it and try and get some yardage on this first down snap. He doesn't just get some yards, though. He gets a big gain, and they'll come right back with another first and 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. ATN with it. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Back to throw Bathard. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Calvin Ridley from 13 yards out. And the Jaguars have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. Well, that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. To throw is Bethard. And they'll try and set up the screen to ETN. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you break the tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, and now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. ETN up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Here's Beathard to throw. That is caught. So they hit pay dirt, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the penalty flag is about. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Well, their defense did the job. They got the turnover on downs. Now what can the offense do as they take possession? They'll start on the ground here on first down. 
Nifty footwork at the 45. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. On second down, ETN once more. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. They'll throw here, Bathard. And he's got his man on the out route. It appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. They'll run. It's ETN. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Another tote for ETN. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Second down, here's a run with Bigsby. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Seven yards there on a first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. their fourth possession touchdowns on their first three possessions I mean this defense they can't seem to stop them it's like they're on skates great analogy Brandon because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage they've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone so to themselves all they're saying is if we don't make a mistake there's no way they can stop us this offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half very relaxed very smooth very efficient no wasted motions Things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Straight ahead, ETN. A little juke, and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 70 yards now for ETN, and he's got a first down. Muscle damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the belt three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here. Touchdown! And Calvin Ridley on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead here in this first half. 
So not only is that his third touchdown catch of the game, he's done it here in the first half. I'm not sure defensively what they're going to come up with to slow him down because already we're seeing him run past over th the Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive so both of these teams Charles coming off touchdowns now but this offense they just had to stand on the sideline watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone yeah I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Back to throw here. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Jeremy Chin so dangerous wherever he's at on the field, and that time he gets in there for the sack. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Looking to throw. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's second and ten. They'll look to throw. He'll find ETN out of the backfield. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catches, hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. Well, Charles. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards a lot of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. He'll drop to throw. A short throw to Ingram, and he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. And they'll run here with ETN. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Ten yards there, good enough for a Jags first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Back to throw now on first down. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Back to the ground with ETN. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. And the last carry 
puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Jaguars! Calvin Ridley, 51 yards. And the Jags add six to their lead. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the... The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second down, ETN once more. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now back to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Jags first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. And they'll run on the inside handoff. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. On second down, ETN once more. And he's going to pull his way forward to the 48. 115 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And he will have a Jaguars first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And a well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 11 yards there for Jacksonville on a first down as well. ETN once more. Dances by him. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 12 more yards there and another first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the screen. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Screenplay, here's ETN. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. Back now in Jacksonville. It's Jaguar football here, and they'll look to extend their lead as we begin quarter number four. The kick by McManus is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but... Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. 
Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on down is the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, getting a little down. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless, take care of the ball on the way out. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. First and 10 at the 43 yard line. Hands it off out of the gun. Flashed the stiff skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Good gain there on first down. It keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> almost impossible. Yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Now Bethard. Open man. This is Brenton Strange, the tight end. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. A good pick up there, 21 yards. The passing game continues to be their friend. Even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles, they're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? They'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scrim. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Brenton Strange. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first and 10, it's ETN. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. Second and six, just inside the 30. And they'll go again with ETN. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz just trying. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front. That's prepared for him to try and take off. On second down, a run with ETN. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? You just give your superstar the ball and continue to feed him. Yeah, yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they get five there on third and two. So here's a first and ten at the 38. First down. First and 10 at the 
They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Here's a second and five. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Running out of the gun with ETN. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. On third down, here's ETN. And he'll fall forward to the 29-yard line. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. The Jags' new kicker for 2023, Brandon McManus, on for the field goal. The kick by McManus is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So he remains perfect in three for three in the field goal department. And it's so Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles E's defense is meanwhile have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did that? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency, not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory, even better for them. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Jaguars are winners here at